Thank you for joining me, Franz Alexander of Franz Alexander Interiors. Today we talk about decorating your lounge and which fabric you need to select for particular applications. I recently encouraged followers and viewers to send photos of their lounge and we have received quite a few. I have selected the photo sent in by Patty. Thank you so much, Patty. Just a few things to think about when you start decorating your room is what is the desired outcome you wish to achieve? What look and style are you drawn to? And does that translate your living style and the style of your home? Let's have a look at Patty's Lounge. Looking at the photo of Patty's Lounge, it's clear that the style is classic and traditional in a sense. The following are the changes I would make. Let's start with the layout and furniture placement. The sofas overlapping draws your eye that either the furniture does not fit the size of the room and further draws your eye to the rug being off center. Placement of furniture and rug. Make sure that the rug sits in the center with evenly distributed rug under the furniture. Hertex has some beautiful rugs in different designs, colors and sizes. Let me show you a few of their rugs. I enjoy a rug that has quite a thick pile and that is quite lush. And here are just a few. Some of them you can purchase online at hertexhouse.ca.za. Just a few and different colors as well. And you can all see they've got a very nice pile, quite nice and thick. Beautiful. The one item for me that does not work at all is the coffee table. I would definitely suggest that you change this up for either a deep buttoned round ottoman to break the four corners of the room being a cube and then also add maybe a coffee element table like a marble and brass finish or something similar along those lines. I will include a few photos of ideas that you can get some inspiration from. The two chairs in the photo is two pieces of furniture that I would not have used in the setting. As its style is rather formal, um, <clears throat> where the rest of the furniture are more inviting and laid back, I suggest replacing with a lower back chair like a club chair, um, which is the same handwriting as the rest and it will also convey a message of a family lounge. When selecting fabric to recover, look at the rug count and the composition. Let me show you how. When considering fabric for domestic use, make sure that the fabric has 20,000 and more rub counts. That we would find at the back of the fabric where it says Martindale. And for high traffic areas or commercial use, 35,000 and more is what my recommendation is. When selecting your fabric, consider what your application is for. So if you, for instance, have kids and dogs, make sure that you select a fabric that is going to be kid friendly, dog friendly to some extent. It's most important to make sure that you can actually clean the fabric easily. So if you look at this fabric, for instance, from Hertex, at the back, you'll find quite a lot of information. The P there says professional clean, so you can professional clean it. And next to it, it says 30 degrees, which means you can clean it at 30 degrees degrees Celsius. Then below it, it will say exceeds 20,000 rubs. When you do start looking at fabrics for your sofa, choose a fabric that has the right composition. A linen fabric is going to stretch slightly and if you, that's the look that you like, a little bit more creased, etc, then that would be the fabric that you would go for. Cotton is also a very nice fabric, it's a natural fabric, it's easy to breathe as well. And then you have polyester. Now polyester is not a fabric that breathes as easily because it's a synthetic fabric. So when you do select a fabric like polyester, it is going to be warmer than the rest of them, which is something that you need to consider in a warm climate. The pros and cons of polyester is that polyester is quite easy to clean. If you select fabrics that have a high viscose or silk in the composition, be sure that it's in a room that does not get too much sunlight as these fabrics will fade quite easily. So to conclude, 
when recovering your lounge suite, it's very important to look at the composition of the fabric and rather maybe go for fabric that is has a composition and a blend of the different fabrics. The other furniture piece when we look at Patty's photo that stands out due to its different color is the Chesterfield sofa. And at the moment in the lounge, there's nothing else that ties the room together. Now I want to show you an easy way to do this with scatter cushions and where to place them. Let's have a look. If you look at the fabrics that I have selected for Patty's lounge, you will see that I have highlighted fabrics that has a bit of that tan orangey color coming through. And then I've also selected fabrics that has a bit more depth in it. Fabrics that has a gold, so it's a reflective, and some fabrics with texture. These are all from the Linwood range. Absolutely beautiful range from Hotex. And they are velvets and also linen compositions. And then if you consider adding a bit of a trend, which at the moment animal print is quite big, then select something that has the same handwriting as the rest. This is a nice velvet snakeskin pattern, but an absolutely beautiful fabric. And then this has got a leopard print, also quite stunning. And again, also a beautiful fabric over here, all available from Hertex. Adding a nice throw could also be a nice way to add a bit of luxury to the room. Um, in the photo, I see that Patty did add a throw there. I would just make the suggestion to add a throw with a little bit more body, um, like one of these perhaps. And uh, this is also another scatter that I've just added into the scheme of things. Let's talk about window dressing and wall coverings. So in Patty's lounge, if I look at the photo, there is no curtaining at the moment. I would definitely add a little bit of curtaining just to give it a bit of warmth and personality into the room and it does make the room feel a little bit more luxurious. These are just a few ideas that you could easily add a little bit of texture and some interesting depth in the room. And then if you consider wallpaper, a nice plain textured wallpaper like for instance like this could definitely add another dimension to the room. But nowadays design trend of more is more, it really is only more if it adds to the design aesthetic of the room. If you are just simply adding, uh, then you will just end up with a cluttered mess and no design ethos. Last thought. Personalize your home. I often walk into homes that look like a mini showroom of a store. So make sure that when you do purchase something that it stays true to yourself and that it reflects the personality of who you are. The next topic we will be talking about is dining rooms. So be sure to send in your photo of your dining room to info at francalexander.com. To say thank you to Patty and to show some appreciation for sending in the photo, we would like to thank you by sending you this beautiful scatter cover. I'm sure this will get you going on your redecorating. Thank you for joining me, Franz Alexander. Be safe, be healthy, stay home, go decorate.